Hey, my name is Matt. I'm the founder of Ranking Tactics and also the creator of ZimWriter, the world's number one AI writing software, and I'll prove it to you why. ZimWriter does two things better than any other AI writing software on the market. The first thing it does is it doesn't break the flow. It doesn't break the flow, and I'll explain what that means in a second. The second thing it does, and I'm throwing the gauntlet down right here, is it writes the best blog post you have ever seen written by AI in your entire lives. And I'll demonstrate that also on video tier. So let's talk first about breaking the flow. What is breaking the flow? How does my software solve it? Well, let's say you're, you're writing in Gmail or you're writing in Microsoft Word or Google Docs and you're in the zone, you're, you're focused, and you're like, oh, you know, I need the AI to help me with something. I need the AI to, to write a next paragraph, to help me craft this email or something. What do you have to do right now? Uh, right now, in this problem even exists with ChatGPT, okay? Right now, what you have to do is you have to open up a new browser tab and you need to go to your AI writing software. And then you need to log in. But wait, you know, before you can log in, you need a password. You know, is your password up to date? Is that saved in the browser? Or do you need to find your password? Well, maybe you have a password manager and maybe your password manager has a password. Well, you, you got to enter that in. So you finally, you know, get your password and your email and you log in, but then they're like, oh, hey, I don't remember who you are. We need to verify your email, verify your identity. So they send you an email and you got to go log into your email and you have to click on the link in the email to verify who you say you are. And you finally get into the tool. You know, that's a couple minutes later. Now you're in the AI writing tool and you're like, oh geez, you know, where is the, the feature, the function that I need? Because some of these interfaces are very convoluted. They're not easy to, to find. And then you're, you're constrained to using the AI writer in that interface. Okay, chat GPT, you can only use it in that interface. The interface is nice, but you can only use it there. You know, some of these other AI writing tools, they don't have really nice interfaces or their interfaces are lacking. So it's, it's hard, it's convoluted. That is not in, in the 21st century how AI is supposed to work. How AI is supposed to work is it's supposed to always be there when you need it and not there when you don't. And that is how ZimWriter works. Let me demonstrate. But right now, this is ZimWriter. It is running right now. It actually is running. I'm running a blog post right now for demonstration purposes, but it's waiting for me to issue a command. It's waiting for me to do something. I started writing this blog post while I started the video, but now we're gonna actually do something with the AI that you could visibly see. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to, let's go to Chrome actually. This AI writing software, like I said, it works anywhere and it doesn't break the flow. So let's say I'm in LinkedIn and I wanna write this LinkedIn post. I wanna write about how I'm feeling pumped about new AI writing software called ZimWriter. But I also wanna discuss how creating a startup is hard and there are many obstacles to overcome. I want the AI to discuss how I recently had to rebrand my AI writing software to avoid a potential trademark issue. I want them to mention how one of the hurdles of a founder is to determine which fires to put out with limited resources, use a couple encouraging hashtags, and with a flex emoji. So look, I'm in the zone, I wanna use the AI, I don't wanna go somewhere else, I just wanna knock this out. Let's see if ZimWriter can do it. So I'll press the hot key on my keyboard, ZimWriter jumps into action and it's gonna solve this issue for me. So here, here's what it wrote. I'm feeling pumped about the new AI content writing software called ZimWriter, but creating a startup is hard and there are many obstacles to overcome. Recently, I had to rebrand my AI software to avoid a potential trademark issue. As a founder, one of the biggest hurdles is to determine which fires to put out with limited resources. Flex. Despite the challenges, I'm still excited to see where the journey takes me. You know, that's actually really good. I'm just going to freaking post that right now. There we go. Posted it. Okay, what else can it do? Well, hey, let's go to Google Docs. So I'm in Google Docs. Let's pretend I work for a marketing agency. And we have this, this client, Big Bill's Barbecue. The product is Heavy Smoker 2000 Barbecue Grill. So I want to write a press release about this new product. It's a new pellet grill. I want to explain its amazing features, such as a 48 hour long smoke length, high heat and low heat grilling as a built-in television. So you can even watch the game while you grill. So what I'll do, and, and this is in no particular format. I just basically, I'm telling the AI what I want. So I select all the text. I hit my trigger on my keyboard. The AI jumps into action. Let's see what ZimWriter can do. Big Bill's Barbecue is proud to announce the launch of its Heavy Smoker 2000 Barbecue Grill. This revolutionary new pellet grill is designed to provide the ultimate grilling experience for backyard barbecues and tailgates. The Heavy Smoker 2000 features a 48 hour smoke length, high and low heat grilling for different foods, and a built-in television so you can watch the game while you grill. The Heavy Smoker 2000 is designed for maximum convenience and efficiency. This is, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but this is great. This is absolutely fantastic. Now let's go do an email. So I want to write a letter to my boss. I mean, I am such a good marketer. I am just busting out these press releases. I'm doing such a great job. 
I need a raise. I've been working like a dog. The cost of living has gone up 12% this year. I got a lovely wife and kids I can't feed. They're starving. I want to use some empathy while I write because I know my boss, Bill Lumberg, also has kids of his own. I need to mention that I'm a top performer compared to my peers and always read his TPS reports. So let's select the text. Let's pre press the hotkey. Zimwriter jumps into action. And there's our result. Dear Bill Lumberg, I hope this letter finds you and your family in good health. I'm writing you to today to request a raise in my salary. I've been working very hard and I believe I have earned it. My job performance has been consistently above average and I always meet deadlines and read your TPS reports. I'm sure that you can sympathize with the fact that the cost of living has increased 12% this year. It has been difficult to provide for my family and my lovely wife. I'm sure that you can understand my need for additional financial support. I hope you'll consider my request for a raise. I'm a top performer compared to my peers and I believe that I deserve to be compensated accordingly. Thank you for your time and consideration. That's great. I would send that, but that's not my boss. <laughs> All right, let's do some more. So I come from an SEO background. One of the favorite SEO tools that marketers use is Surfer SEO. You can do some amazing things inside of this tool, but one of the downsides is there's no built-in AI. All right, now they do partner with another company to incorporate AI in, but out of the gate, there's no AI in here. Well, you know what? Zimwriter can, can solve that problem. So here is this article we wrote. And this article was actually written by uh, Zimwriter and it was optimized automatically by Zimwriter. But let's say we want to you know, tweak it a little bit. So we want to write a follow-up paragraph to this one right here. So I wrote this command. In the context of how to help a dog lose weight, write a follow-up paragraph about how a dog owner should also assess their dog's current weights and goals before embarking on a weight loss journey. So I'm gonna select all this text to give it some context. I'll press the magic command trigger and Zimwriter will jump into action. All right, so here is the new paragraph. It's also important to assess your dog's current weight and set realistic weight loss goals before embarking on a weight loss journey. It's best to consult with your vet to determine the ideal weight range for your dog and how much weight, if any, should be lost, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a great way to build out paragraphs and you can even, ha even have it use different keywords from the, the keywords over here. And this will work not only in Surfer, this works in Phrase, this works in Market Muse, this will work in Hemingway app. You know, as long as the, the, the software has an editing interface, it will likely work in there. I think you can even use this in Grammarly in the desktop app, but also online. So that's how you can use it online. Let's go to some actual desktop apps. So let's open up Microsoft Word right now. So explore some different advertising angles regarding a product called Fat Obliterator 9000. It's a device that you strap to your stomach and it jiggles away the fat. Priced at $99, includes a wireless connection feature to your smartphone and built-in cup holder to hold your favorite soda while you sit on the couch and jiggle off those pounds. Use some humor, mention that it's also seen on TV. So we'll select all this, we'll hit our magic command trigger, Zimwriter will spring into action and give us a great output. Don't let your couch be the reason you can't fit into your favorite jeans. Get the Fat Obliterator 9000 and jiggle your way to a slimmer waistline right from your couch. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the FDA would say, but that's pretty cool. Feel like you can't get off the couch? Don't worry. The Fat Obliterator 9000 will do the work for you and help you lose those pounds without leaving the comfort of your living room. This is actually really good. Now, look, if you don't like the outputs, you simply delete them and you select the text again and you generate again. It's really that easy. Don't wait for the new year to start your fitness journey. Start now with the Fat Obliterator 9000. This amazing device jiggles away the fat and you can do it while sitting on the couch with your favorite soda and your smartphone. All this for just $99 and as seen on TV. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, one more. So this is inside of Notepad or Notepad++. I wanna write some JavaScript code to display a pop-up and collect an email and a password from the user, then validate the email using regular expressions. If the email has an error, then display a pop-up to the user telling them that they need to re-enter their email. Okay, need a little bit of help with that JavaScript code. There you go, there is some JavaScript. Now obviously test this out to make sure it works. Looks pretty good to me. Now that is just one feature of Zimwriter. The other features, the other triggers that it has, let's bring up the menu right now, are continue writing trigger and a rewrite trigger. Okay, so we were just using the magic command trigger, but that's not all it has. It has a one-click blog writer, an SEO optimized blog writer, so this will, so this will actually write an entire blog post in one click. This will write between maybe a three and a 6,000 word article optimized for SEO if you enter the right SEO keywords. Now, when I say optimized for SEO, you go into Surfer or you go into Phrase and you'll get a very high score. I personally use Phrase. And when I go, after I do this, the article I get and I paste into Phrase, it will be 100% optimized. Doesn't happen all the time, but happens more frequently than not. 
The other thing you can do is the bulk blog writer, and you can write up to 10 blog posts all at once between 3,000 and like 6,000 words. Lots of different settings in here. I won't detail those. You can look at my other YouTube videos for that. But while I was recording this video, just at the, at the intro, at the intro, it had finished up writing a blog post, and let's check it out, okay? It dumps it all into this output folder, but it, that is customizable. How to wash a dog. So this is 7,000 tokens. It's 3,600 words, and it cost me 15 cents to generate, okay? So this 3,000 word article, it generated, the AI wrote it while I was just doing the intro for the video you're watching right now. Washing a dog can be one of the most daunting tasks known to humankind. It can take hours of scrubbing and cleaning, making it seem like you are in an internal battle with dirt and mud. But don't despair. With these few simple steps, you can make washing a dog an easy, enjoyable task that not only will leave your pup squeaky clean, but will also ensure that they stay healthy and happy. So we have gathered supplies, prepare the bathtub, and we have a nice little numeric list in here. Wet your dog, apply shampoo, lather and rinse, clean your dog's face, dry your dog, brush their fur, trim their nails, <laughs> clean their ear, frequently ask questions, how often should I bathe my dog? What types of shampoo should I use? How can I make my dog more comfortable with bath time? What is the best way to trim my dog's nails? How can I tell if my dog's ears need to be cleaned? And then a conclusion. Look at that, all in the span of like 120 seconds. Now this was not the SEO optimized article. I just did just a, a, a one-off generation, but I will, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I will make this article as a link in the description in the video on YouTube so you can check it out at your leisure and kind of go through this. I'm not gonna edit it, you know, this is what you get. Sometimes the AI does a great job. Sometimes you need to edit it a little bit, but you know, what you do with this is, is your call. If you wanna just publish it or if you wanna send it to your, your editor, you wanna add some infographics, some more pictures, kind of make it your own, whatever you wanna do. This is a, a 3000 word article that you could just uh, use for whatever purposes you want. So that in a nutshell is ZimWriter. It's an incredibly useful tool that will do all kinds of different things from allowing you to do magic commands, rewriting and continue writing anywhere on your desktop or in a browser. And then it will also allow you to generate these phenomenally written blog posts. And I, I, like I said, I'm throwing the gauntlet down. These are better written than any other AI software on the market. Now, so here, here's the meat and potatoes. What in the world would you pay for something like this? What, what would something like this be worth to you? There's some software out there that will charge $500 a month for their AI writing software and, and generating 700,000 words. Isn't that nuts? That's absolutely insane. I could not afford that. And what really sucks about a model like that, you know, maybe if you're an agency and you're just writing for a bunch of clients, hey, that's great. But if you're just like a solopreneur and you're like, I, I want to access these features, but I can't afford the monthly price, you, that's not a viable option. ZimWriter is the best deal you are ever gonna find with the best output you're ever gonna find. Because what it is, is I charge just a fee, a price, just to use the writer, and then I let you bring your own open AI key. So you can the, think of ZimWriter as the vehicle. The vehicle can do all kinds of things, but it needs the gasoline. So I could bundle that gasoline, the GPT-3, the open AI GPT-3, with ZimWriter and charge a markup. Okay? But I'm not doing that. I'm letting you go bring your own GPT-3 from OpenAI, and it's super easy to set up. So, I mean, you can do it in 10 seconds. I, I think my grandma could even do it, you know? I let you bring your own GPT-3 from OpenAI, and on average, you can generate about 400 to 750 words for two pennies. And the best part is, let's say you just wanna use, you know, AI occasionally. Well, then you're not, you're not locked into some monthly fee with OpenAI. You're not locked into some you know, $500 a month fee. You just pay for my software, which is dirt cheap. Right now, you can get a monthly plan, depending on the features you want, for $597 or $997. Or you can also get a limited time lifetime deal. There's a limited time lifetime deal where you pay me one time, never pay me again. You'll get all the updates that I'm ever gonna release for the software. And you just pay as you go to OpenAI or the, the amount of GPT-3 you use. And it's ridiculously affordable. Like as an example, if you wanted to generate 700,000 words on average, that might only cost you $18. Compare that to $500 a month with some of these other software programs. And the best part is you go on vacation for a month or something like that. You don't, you don't use GPT-3, you don't use OpenAI, you don't pay them anything. You don't pay anything. You only pay for what you use. How cool is that? Hey, if I piqued your interest, there's links down below. Check them out, there's a link to the Zim Write our Facebook group. There's a link to the software. There's going to be a link to the, the document I generated. Check it all out. If this sounds pretty cool to you, definitely give the video a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. And if you caught, if you caught my LinkedIn post, yes, I launched this software less than 20 days ago. 
I've been writing this software for 45 days and I had to rebrand it today because of potential trademark issues that I just don't want to deal with. So, so this is, if you've seen this video already and you're watching it again, you're trying to scratch your head and say, why is this called ZimWriter? Well, now you know why it's called ZimWriter. Join the ZimWriter family and, and join the Facebook group, get the software. You're not going to, you're not going to be disappointed. This is something that you're not going to see anywhere else on the internet. Best AI in town guaranteed. All right. Hey, thanks for watching and good luck with your content generation. And I'll talk to you later.